Hey Google, turn on the lights. So yeah, hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about how to connect your Google Home Mini into this smart socket. I mean, how to link them both so that we will be able to control them by voice command. So that is one thing that you can do with the Google Home Mini, which is pretty amazing. Let's get on to it. First of all, you're going to need this smart socket right here you can find a lot of these sa Lazada um, it only costs around 200 pesos I think so again it comes with this instruction manual right here that was ito. this right here is the switch itself okay so I thought these are the things that we need and also we're going to need I don't know, maybe an extension cord. We're also going to need an application to make this all work. So you're going to need your cell phone. That was going to open it up. Right now, I have it on recording mode. So we're going to type in Smart Life. So again, this right here. So I already downloaded it, but for the sake of this video, I guess we will have to uninstall it. Again, ito. click install. Again, so we have finally downloaded it. What we're going to do next is we're going to click open. That was it's going to load up the app. And then click register. Jan. And then just click agree. That was you register with your name, your email, all the good stuff. That was since I already have an account, all I have to do is just log in with my email. So again, I finally logged in. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have a few things set up already. You have the studio lights, the upper deck, which is, you know, for, for the loft bed, studio lights, these right here, and then the computer space, which is that one, Selecod. So in order to add this new plug into this group right here, what we're going to do is we're going to click this button right here up top. That pause, we are going to first plug this in, which I actually forgot. Yeah, and we're going to plug it in. Okay, so it's actually bumping into this switch right here so let me get an adapter okay so we have an adapter and we're going to plug it in again tapos um we're going to turn this on right here the smart plug it has a button on the side so we're going to turn it on and then release so as you can see right here there is this blue led light that indicated that it actually turned on so again Okay, so we have finally turned on our smart plug right here. As you can see with the blue light, it is indicated that it's on. So we're going to click here, auto scans a phone. You need to enable all of these right here, the access location, enable Wi-Fi, and enable Bluetooth. So that this button right here will turn to blue so that you can actually press it. So again, we're going to click start scanning and it's going to like search for available smart plugs that is in the network so again again so it actually saw and detected the plug so we're going to click next again and then we're going to click done i mean as you can see right here it says that it added successfully so we're going to click done and then we can actually rename it to whatever we want so there it goes finish configuring the plug and then Again, so we can actually turn it on and turn it off. If I turn it off, as you can see, this light right here is not turned on. That was if I turn it on right here, it is actually turned on. So yeah, um, we're going to find an example. Eto. Here. The charger for the battery. Again, so. There it goes, it is now plugged in. And as you can see, it is charging since it's turning red. That was if we turn it off again, it will turn green. Okay, so as you can see, the app is now connected to the phone. But right now, it's still not connected to this Google Home right here. So before that, what we're going to do is we're going to rename this right here, this smart plug. Um, we're going to rename it into um, battery charger so that, you know, it's an example. Battery charger there it goes save that was 
um, what we're going to do next is we are going to connect it into our Google Home app. So we have this right here, Google Home, and we're going to click that. So fortunately, the Smart Life app is already linked to my phone before. So in case that you haven't really done that yet, what you have to do is you're going to click that plus button up top. Top us, we're going to click setup device right here. And then we are going to click this right here that works with Google to link up our uh, Smart Life app into our Google app. So as you can see right here, the battery charger is already recognized by my Google Home app. And it's because I already set up a few devices right here, so I guess it automatically just picked it up. So if your plug still isn't recognized by Google Home, what you're going to do next is we're going to click this button right here up top, the plus sign. That was we're going to click set up device right here. And then we are going to click right here, um, have something already set up. We're going to click that and then we are going to add this Smart Life app. I mean, if it's not here, you have to go and scroll down. That was we're going to search for it. But, but like since mine is already up here, I'm going to click that and then link it. So that is all you had to do. I thought we're going to unlink it. That was we're going to do it again for the sake of the video. So as you can see, it is not linked right here. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to our Smart Life app. Um, or you could just type it right here up top, Smart Ayan, and then click this right here. So we have that. Okay, so it's going to have us log in again. So you're going to log in your account that you used. It's a Smart Life app, and here is mine then you're going to click link now so again then it's going to give you this authorization so authorize that was that was again it's going to say that it's actually signing in there it goes there it goes so add smart home devices so we're going to click all of these right here yeah we're going to add the room i thought we're going to click this and then we're going to click next add it to your room so i thought and then click move device uh just do a lot of stuff so again the device has been added to your home or to your room and then there it goes again so it's now in your office and then you can actually now control it using your google home mini hey google turn on the battery charger sure turning on again. the battery charger so yeah that's it finally worked uh i don't know if you're able to follow up on that but like um, wait long, we're going to try out if it actually works with the other ones. Hey Google, turn off the studio lights. Okay, turning off studio lights. Okay, hey Google, turn on the studio lights. Okay, turning on studio lights. Okay, so it's actually working as you can see. Um, so yeah, that's it. So anyways, that's it for today's video guys. I hope you're able to learn how to link your smart plug into your Google Home Mini. Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below, like this video if you want to, and subscribe if you aren't already. Also, yeah, if you're interested in more videos like this, you could possibly like subscribe or something. Um, so yeah, see you guys in the next video. As always, don't hate, appreciate. See you in the next one. Bye.